you can see I don't really want to look at it but it, it should be up there on the tree so I'm freaking out and this is the reason why I got a blanket over my head because <laughs> I don't want the thing to take my eye out but anyhow um yeah that's the story they're called magpies hate them absolutely petrified of them it's up there on the tree I do not like these birds help me don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget it's island boy Give thanks for your loving You are the realest girl Even without money You're enjoying my world Hola mi gente, espero que estén todo bien Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing good Welcome back to our channel Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below So today guys, we're going for a little stroll with Island Island is now five weeks, he'll be six weeks this Friday And so I'm starting to take him out a little bit more And you know, get to see the world outside I did want to um, stress out that it's If I see these birds, I'll show you all what I mean But these birds, I'm petrified of them, I'm so scared They're called magpies And they, at the moment, it's September here so like it is everywhere else around the world but it's september and it's mating season righty i so say a few weeks back i said the domestic cat was nature's old but you know what i was wrong well cats are dodgy but they're nowhere near as bad as a swooping magpie i'm not even joking look at this bird ready to consume your mortal soul looking for eyeballs to poke out like toby green from gws they sit up on power lines acquiring targets and bam flying out of trees taking on entire families and so when these birds um are having babies or you know um, they tend to attack humans and the reason for that is because back in the day um, I'd say these birds were really friendly with humans and so many times humans would attack them so the reason for that is now they've gotten smarter and they attack us now so I gotta be really careful of Ireland because uh, there was a boy that actually got his eye taken out um, from one of these birds and off he goes i'm gonna get you once i'm gonna get you twice and just when you think i'm done i'm gonna get you a third time so i just looked on the ground i thought i there was like money or something there so it's yeah so this boy's eye got taken out and apparently it was not very pretty so hey guys the weather is not looking so great and I'm hoping that I don't get a storm or rain because if we do we're in trouble well actually not so much because Ireland's got his pram cover that I'll be drenched so happy days for me if that happens <laughs> and so this is our our streets are really wide here and Yeah, I'm thinking I might put my chest strap on because it feels really weird trying to drive with one hand. But um, he's fallen back asleep again. I think he knows we're going for a little stroll. So I might put my chest strap on and that way you guys can see a little bit better and I can talk to you as we go along. So things have been good with Ireland. He's now five weeks old. He'll be six weeks at the end of this week. He is a good baby. He at first started to, obviously all the mums out there, a bit unsettled at night. Um, but now he's clutched up now, but he likes to stay up till midnight and then sleep for the rest of the day, as you can see. <laughs> and that's his routine. So, I don't mind it, it's pretty good. I still get my sleep at night, which is the main thing. Um, so as you can see here, the houses here are pretty much like old school. There are new houses around, as you can see down there and so forth. But um, I live in country town and I love it here. It's so peaceful, it's so green, everything's so pretty. 
and I enjoy it. So I'm going to pop my chest strap on and well, hopefully we can get, you know, get to chatting a little bit. You won't be seeing me much though. No, nah, I'm joking. You'll see me heaps. All right. Oh, so they've got seedlings now, strawberries, silver beet and squash. And this house has been for sale for a while. Anyone interested in buying? And Mr. Island is hungry. Mr. Island boy is hungry. Still, even though I fed him a little bit, but I got scared of the magpie, so I had to move on. Yep. I had to move it on, move it along. Isn't that right, Island? I had to. Alright. Hey guys, I'm back again. Anyhow, I just wanted to let you know that this is a mango tree at the front here. And this mango tree is I've never tried the mangoes from this mango tree, but I plan to. Who's coming um, year when they start to become fruitful? So yeah, so these mangoes, definitely so many come on these trees. So when babe comes, he's gonna have plenty of mangoes to eat. So right now I'm walking through a tunnel and there's a lots of graffiti here and things. So little Island's eyes are waking up. He must be dreaming, but yeah. Walking through, passing by, um, lots of graffiti on the walls. But yeah, good morning. So as you can see, people here are quite friendly where I live, and there are, you know, good people around, but there are also some bad ones. And that's what we, you know, I guess that's everywhere around the world. Meaning bad as in around, particularly my area where I live. There are good people, there are all sorts of people, um, you know. But everyone just does their thing and live life. Live on, as you'd say. There's people. So this is me, five weeks after having a child, trying to get back into the swing of things, exercising, you know, gotta do it. I'm not walking fast speed because I'd be puffed out if I did. But yeah, this is basically my little exercise, go for a walk and, and all of that. Um, I know I've got people walking behind me, I can hear, but I don't know. Um, I get quite weary or should I say scared sometimes because you just don't know. Anyways guys, welcome. You know another thing that I'm scared of? Dogs. Dogs. Yep. Because <laughs> there's like dogs that are on the loose around here too. And I've was one night where <clears throat> story time there was one night that I was coming home and didn't see the dog I don't know and it was a big big brown black dog brown black whatever it was because it's night time you don't know what color they are and I got freaking attacked I jumped straight back in my car and waited there until the dog left or freaky all right guys i'm back again so had to get the stuff out and things so basically we can do this walk thing because it's hard pushing a pram with one hand um don't know all the multi task mothers around they would know uh, what we're talking about <laughs> we're still multitask but still so you probably can just see island right now there's not much you can see hang on i 
might not have to stretch this up for a bit. It's a bit, bit of a hassle. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. I think that you right to stay on, I think. Alright. Back straight. It might work then. Got the H2O going. So So as I was saying Island is a good boy. He hasn't given me any trouble but besides maybe staying up so late and wanting to sleep the whole day after that's basically it. Um, so now we're coming into town as you can see our roads here are wide in the country our population I think I said this before it was like 20,000 where I live probably gone up um, I love it here it's beautiful and we're passing school now we've got some you know high school and all of that here DJ as if Right guys, so we're in town We're in town Town to town town Crossing the road Oops So Mr. Island's awake now Oh, bless you, boy. There he is. Hi, lad. <laughs> He's going to be hungry soon, so better get moving. Doesn't it, Island? Someone's renovating or painting. It stinks really bad. All right, Mr. Island boy, let's cross this road quickly. All right, so got to go to the bank, guys. Inside, actually. Oh, okay. How am I going to get up there? That's wicked. Alrighty. This is going to be a trickster. Hmm. Get up those stairs. Alright guys, I'm back again. Um, just going to go get a coffee now. Because I've pretty much done everything I needed to do. Any other little thing that I needed to do, I could do it another day. Because Mr. Island's awake now, so he needs to eat soon. As you can see, he's there. Hi, Island. Island, say hi to everybody. Hi. He's looking straight at the camera, guys. Because of the COVID, you've got to scan your barcode on your phone and take a photo of it, scan it on camera. Okay. Luckily, I've got batteries still on my phone.
you've got to enter your name and your mobile number. All right, so we're waiting for our coffee. Hey, Jesse. Hello. We're going to get some smiles. Hello. Hi for the camera. Hi. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I look scared as anything because I'm looking at a black screen and I don't know what I'm looking at. Hey, yo. Did I see? Yeah, I did sanitize my hands, man. So we got to be safe. I just don't know these days. You want to come out? Or you want to stay in there? I think you better stay in there because you'll probably cry if I take you out of there. <gasps> Hello. Hello, mommy. Hi to the world. Hi. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. Tell them, Island. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. You tell them. Yes. <laughs> okay, baby boy. Just wanted to say thank you all so much for liking the vlog. And if you want to see more, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll be happy, more than happy, to show you all. You know where I live again and what we have around here just waiting for Ireland to be a little bit bigger so that we can go out and do some you know um, bushwalking or waterfall viewing so that would, that will be a vibe um, and hopefully by then babe will be here as well so he can try mangoes <laughs> anyways thank you so much everyone bless up don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget